This conference will Okay, uh, so we shall uh, discuss about the uh, last session, what all the things we have been discussed on. So can anyone recall it? So what did we do in the rest of this class? So can anyone recall what did we do in the last class? So most of them uh, were there in the last class, I know that. But still, okay, so we had been done with an uh, balance sheet related uh, problems and we have been seeing that how we can be able to calculate with accumulated depreciation then the return profit value and how to prepare and balance sheet with the debt uh, uh, schedule also okay so today we are going to see with another concept the one of the other uh, important financial statement which we have to consider when we are going to uh, refer with the documents of any business if I want to buy or merge with. So the three important statements, one is income statement, the second one is a balance sheet and the third one is very important part is the cash flow statement. So hope my screen is visible to everyone. So can anyone yes, Yeah. Okay, thank you. So the cash flow statement is a document that shows the real time portrait of the company's gross profit and the operating expenses. That means, so how much we have been done and how much we have been funded so through the business for the particular period. So if uh, there is more sales with the less than expenses, we know that it is a uh, profit we have been made it. So in, at the same time, if we have been uh, been able to cover with all the expenses on the day-to-day -day activities so invest in the new equipment so uh, pay with the dividends to the shareholders and uh, at, try to attract with the investment getting the investment from the outer side so these are all uh, the positive uh, status of a cash flow statement so on the other end when a, a financial statement reveals the negative cash flows so it suggests the company to have enough cash to cover its daily business cost and risk insolvency. Okay, so try to keep it in a positive cash flow statements. So cash flows. Okay, so there are three things you are supposed to take care when you are going to prepare the cash flow statement. It has been divided into three part we can say. So the first one, it will talk about the operating activities. So which we also call it as an cash flow from operating activities, CFO. Then cash flow from investing activities. So operating activities, it is going to involve with all the regular activities, what we do it on a daily basis. So here it says a company's operating cash flows offers a portrait of its day-to-day -day operating activities namely the income from the sales and outflows to the towards the salaries fees lease payments taxes interest payments so all these things so when we are able to earn more money to bear with all these expenses of the daily activities what we do it so this is going to show with an cash flow positive thing that the second activities is investing activities when you are going to bring the investment when you are going to spend more money on investing on outside equipments. So these are the things comes under the investment uh, activities. Then financing cash flow means 
so what all the ways we are going to find the uh, amount uh, towards your business so how do you bring the money towards to your business so all those informations and uh, to the owners of the business how much they are going to withdraw for themselves so that it is going to show it in the financing activities so now let us take it uh, an example so this is an example cash flow statement so you can be able to see with this three types of activities so you have to tell me that so which statement it is going to apply for which type of activities in the cash flow statement so the first statement says cash received from the customers so when do i receive the cash so if i made any sales so if any sales activities is done so which part of this cash flow statement it is going to get affected is it an operating activities is it an investment activities or is it on financing activities so is there any guess so is it from uh, investing activities so investment it is like you are going to invest on an asset so anything you are going to get back it so here you are receiving it from your customers means you are making a sales so the business it is going to stay on the sales so it is a normal activity so the money what you are going to earn from this sales you are going to use it for your daily activity so which part of this cash flow statement it is related to the day to day activities is it operating investment or financing good try ma so this is this operating. going to be related to the operating activities so let me bring the value over here and one more thing is when you are going to prepare the cash flow statement it is mandatory that you are going to show that if the money is received by the business you are going to show the value in positive figure if the money is going out of your hand then you are supposed to show it in negative figure okay so this amount was been received so we are going to show it in positive figures so the next one is cash paid for expenses so this also it is a part of operating activities so we are going to show it in cash paid for expenses and this value will be minus because it is going out of our hand so we are paying the business is paying so for that reason so the next one is cash paid to suppliers so even this also it has been paid to suppliers means it's a purchase and here also it is a minus value okay so these are the three activities which are going to involve in the operations so now we are going to sum it up here so equals to sum up so the value now total of cash flow from operating activities we have 17500 so now next cash paid to acquire additional equipment so here we are going to invest it so we are investing on the equipment so we are going to put it in the investment activities 
and this amount is paid so we are going to show it in minus value okay so let us see is there any anything else is it going to get added in this activities so the next one is cash received from the investment of owner so anything the owner brings to the business what do we call it as the money which which is brought by the owner we call it as what the money which is brought by the owner of the business so what do we call it as capital capital very good ma'am so this it is going to be shown in the financing activities why not i'm showing it as an investment means see investment means which you are going to invest it once after you are going to have some money in your business and you are going to invest it outside the business or you are going to buy something for the business use okay so here since it is considered as an capital value so we are going to show it in financing activities okay so i have given this value so since it is going to be received to the business from the owner we have received the capital has come to the business i am going to show the value in positive figure the next cash received from bank loan so we are receiving the money from the bank as a loan it's a debt so it is also a financing activities and the money is coming in so i am going to show it in positive figure the next thing is cash paid to the owners withdrawal that means it has been withdrawn by the owner itself which we call it as so what do we call it when the owner withdraws the money for their drawings drawings account very good so since the money is going out i am going to show it is minus value okay in between i have left out one more so cash paid for bank loan that means after taking the loan i have been paid for that period so the money is going out so it is 27000 so is there anything we have left out till now no so we have been taken with all the values okay so now let us see the total of this there is only one so minus 20300 so this one i have to sum it up so it is 13000 so the total cash flow from the operating activities is 17500 so investment we had more so it is a minus 20300 and we have cash flow from the financing activities the plus value of 13000 so here what we are going to do it is we are going to sum it up with all these values so net change in cash flow what we call it as the total of cash flow from activity uh, invest uh, operating activities plus cash flow from investment activities plus cash flow from financing activities so when we add up all these things so the net change in cash flow value is 10200 okay so now here it also says that in case if i have 
the opening balance of the cash that is the last year's closing balance the last year's closing balance yeah. the last year's closing balance was 10800 it was been carry forwarded to the next financial year so here the opening balance is 10800 so what could be the cash balance as on March 31st, 2022, that is at the end of this financial year. So what could be the amount? So this will be equals to the opening balance plus that year's net change in cash flow. So whatever we have earned it out of all those activities. So total up, you are going to get to know that how much cash balance do you have it with yourself okay so 21000 so i'll be sharing this document and in this you can also see that i've given one more problem so try to solve this so it has a few more uh, additionals so try to take a time and try to find out with the answer Give me a minute, I'll just share it to you people through a WhatsApp. Okay, so you can be able to check with your uh, WhatsApp group. You can be able to get to have a cash flow statement Excel sheet. So in that I have also been added with one question. Okay, so you can follow with that and try to do with this. Okay, so by keeping all these things, so let me give one simple problem. So how you can be able to bring up with the solution. So I'll try to give with a, a problem.
Just give me a minute. I'll upload it on the WhatsApp group so that you can be able to download it and you can try it out from your side. Yeah, so I've just given, I've uploaded with an model. So it is related to the pharmacy model. So in a simpler way, I've been designed this question. So you can just check it out. I'll share the screen also right now. So hope the screen is visible. Can anyone confirm me? Is that the screen is visible? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you can read out. So can anyone read out for me? Okay, so I'll read out for you people. ABC company of franchisee of an Apollo pharmacy sells 150 stripes per day, which is called as a type A drug at an average contribution of rupees 25 per, cent, uh, per strip and 100 strips per day of uh, type B drug at an average contribution of rupees 60 per strip. So there are two types of drugs, drug A, drug B. So drug A, it is going to be sold of 150 stripes per day. So where he is going to get a commission out of it of rupees 25 per strip. So here, it has been taken as an assumption that in case if there is a minimality of sales of this particular type of drug of minimum 150 so you are going to earn a 25 rupees per strip and in case of type b drug so it is going to be minimum sales is 100 strips per day and 60 rupees of commissions can be expected okay so let us see that how much we can be able to earn it out of this so let us go with one by one so we can try to understand with so excel sheet it is already predefined with certain informations so you can be able to give the specifications so with the drug a type the commission expected is rupees 25 per stripe okay Okay, so here I'll just change it to 
super straight. So with the drug B, we are able to collect the rupees, that is a commission of rupees 60. And the volume what we are expected to sell it for one day, it is 150 and 100. So these are the things will happen in the first year okay so the next thing is from the sales value uh, the sales volume and the average price are expected to grow by 5% every year for both the drugs that means obviously whenever there is an increase of the value of a good so when the sales increases so obviously the commission also will get increased with it so how do we calculate this five percent increase from the year two onwards so at least i want you people to do this five percent increment from the previous year value Please try this. So can anyone let me know that? How you can be able to increase the value from the year one to year two and for the other rest of the years based on the previous year value with certain percentages. So how to increase this? Please recall and let me know the answer for this. I think someone in the last session, they were able to do this. Please try even if it is a wrong, it's okay, but I want anyone to try this. Is that anyone can try? I'll give a minute of time. Okay, so let me explain it once. So it will be equals to the previous year multiplied with open bracket 1 plus the percentage of increase. So 5% and close the bracket. So that it will apply the same uh, value, E4 value twice. So one is 
the previous year value plus the 5% increase of the value. So it is going to be 26. So same thing, I'll do it for this. Into 5%. Sorry. Open the bracket. 1 plus 5%. Close the bracket. Accept it. And even the sales volume also it is increased equals to previous year value multiply with open the bracket 1 plus the previous year value sorry 5% the percentage of increase. Then equals to previous year multiply by into open the bracket 1 plus 5 percent and accept the screen. So you can be able to drag this to the other years for the increment. The shortcut key I use it is control R on the right hand side dragging the values. Okay, so these are the quantities per day and the commission earned on every unit. So for every year, the year by year, the changes in the volumes now when i calculate this for the whole year so what could be the value do i have it so for the annual sales of drug a so that it is equals to the commission value into the unit sold into 365. So it is 13,68,750. You are going to earn it out of drug A. Then drug B. into commission into units sold into 365 days so 21 lakh 90,000 what you are going to earn with so this is on the year one drug A and drug B sales which happens through the sales what we earn it the total sales of that year of adding it both drug A as well as drug B, the overall, the sales is, sum it up. So you are going to have it as 35 lakhs 58,750. So now you can be able to drag this. So this is what you are going to earn. So out of this. Okay. So this is all about the sales calculation for the year on year.
okay so the next thing is the calculation of expenses so let's see that what all the information do we have it with this so to operate the franchisee it needs to have a 750 square feet of a space for the shop which is a lease rental of rupees 100 rupees per square feet per month the rental contract is for five years and the deposit amount you are going to pay it at the initial it is going to be at 10 lakhs okay so now the rental expenses what we are going to bear it on every month into the year wise so that it is equals to 750 square feet into 100 rupees per month into this is going to give you one month expenses but we are calculating for the year wise so for the total annually rent expenses what we are going to bear it so that it has to be calculated 12 times so since it is monthly it is 12 months so that is 9 lakh rupees what we are going to bear it so let us see that is there any increase of the rental amount so we don't find it anything related to the rental increase so it remains the same for all the years so i'll take the previous year value and drag it okay so the next thing is the salaries so let us see what is the information do we have it on this a one-time renovation of premises worth rupees 20 lakhs will be needed to be incurred at the start that means at initial stage you are supposed to spend 20 lakhs for the renovation purpose and the deposit of the amount of 10 lakhs you are supposed to give it so let me put up this values so deposit for rent is 10 lakhs then renovation cost is 20 lakhs so the total investment at in initial stage what you are supposed to bring it is the sum of this two so that means there is an investment has happened that is nothing but the capital what you have brought to the business is 30 lakhs okay so we have given this information next it requires personal cost are rupees 80,000 per month so that is nothing but the salary expenses okay so requires personal cost that is salaries are rupees 80,000 per month and there is an inflation rate with the salary so every year it is it has to be increased with 7% okay so the salary is 80,000 So I'm supposed to calculate it, so I'm supposed to give it with the equal sign. So equals to eighty thousand into twelve. So 
So every month 80,000. So per year it will cost you at 9,60,000. And on this there is a increase of the salaries for every year at 7%. So I'm supposed to calculate the increase that is the previous year into open the bracket 1 plus 7%. So this is the function of formula we are going to use it to calculate the increase. Okay. So the same thing applies to the other years. Next, other operating expenses. So the next line says other operational expenses are expected to be 25% of the contribution generated for that period. So that means whatever you have been generated, that is the our annual sales value on this, there is a 25% operational cost has to be applied. So multiply the annual sales value of that year into 25%. So this is what the operating expenses value. So the next thing is interest expense. So the interest expenses will be so here it says the tax rate is 35 percent that we will see later. So tax losses cannot be carried forward uh, the initial investment. Okay. Sorry, the tax losses cannot be, I'll put it in the bracket, cannot be carried forward. So the initial investment, that is the deposit under renovation value is funded by 60% on the bank loan where the interest percentage is 12%. The remaining should be funded using equity value. Okay. So, if you see that we have been taken this deposit of the rent plus renovation cost. So, total capital. So, I don't take it as an investment. The total capital. is 30 lakhs so on this there is a amount you brought it it was sixty percent out of 30 lakhs sixty percent that comes to 18 lakhs brought it through loan and the remaining amount It is through equity. Okay. So when you are going to say that you have been taken the loan, the interest expense has to be paid. But here, let us see the statement. Whether we are supposed to pay it everything at one once or it has to be paid annually equally or it has to be calculated with any specific method okay so let us read out the debt has to be repaid at the end of the five years in lump sum okay so that means up to five years you can pay only the interest amount at the end of the fifth year you are going to pay it at a lump sum okay so the expected return of
the expected return on investment is 20 percent okay so now let us see the interest expense equals to on 18 lakhs so i am going to freeze it because it is going to be the same value for all the years into 12 percent and i freeze this also so 2 lakh 16 thousand the interest amount we are supposed to pay it every year on 18 lakhs So the profit before tax will be equals to the annual sales value minus the sum of all those expenses The next thing is the tax to be paid on the profit before tax 35 percent into 35 percent which is fixed so same thing is applied for all the other years and finally the profit before tax minus the tax will give you the current profit after the tax, the net income. Okay, so we are prepared the income statement in this way. So we should be able to read out with each and every point so that we can be able to understand easily and implement the calculation on the certain components then finally we are supposed to prepare the cash flow statement so here the cash flow statement it has been prepared as a free cash flow statement format so where we are going to talk about how much initial investment we have been brought it to this business. So that is the capital amount. So it is 30 lakhs. But is it this amount it is going to be with us or it is going out of my hand? So this amount, say I'm paying a deposit of 10 lakhs and I'm spending it on the renovation. So the money is going out. So for this case, it is going to be in minus value. The next, I've received a loan. That is the debt is raised. How much? 18 lakhs. That means the money has come to the business at the starting of the business for the first year or before starting my business I have taken this loan so now the same thing I am not going to pay it every year with equated annual installment I was paying only the interest amount but I am going to pay it at the end of the period that is on the fifth year with the whole amount so that is the money is going out of the business so it is minus 18 lakh the next thing is the deposited money of 10 lakh is going to come back to us at the end of the fifth year as you all know that when we are going to pay anything on an advance 
for the rental purpose. So once the period is completed of rental period is completed. So it is mandatory that we are supposed to receive back our advance amount. Okay. Then finally the PAT value is nothing but the profit after tax value which has been taken from the income statement the last line item so take it for all the years then the total cash flow will be the sum of all this component so do not leave any component which is empty take the take it into the consideration because in a different years the different values are going to get applied so take it even if it is a blank okay so drag it for the other years So this is what the total cash flow we have it then finally we are supposed to find it the IRR that is internal rate of return so internal rate of return means what is that you can expect the return of investment from all these activities so here in the problem I have been given as the expected return on investment is 20% okay so whether it is going to give a 20% or more then it is suggestible to take this franchisee if it is giving lesser than that then it is not suggestible okay so let us see with it so IRR calculation will be by using the IRR function so here you are supposed to select with the total cash flow values so total it up and check it out so it gives a 32 percent of the rate of returns so is it now is suggestible by a financial analyst to go ahead with this franchisee or not So we were expected with the 20% and it has crossed with 20%. That means we can be able to suggest to this business owner to go ahead with this franchisee. Okay. So I'll share this answered document also to you people. But still you try it out to solve it on your own. Okay. It is going to be only for your reference purpose. I am going to share this. So refer this and do it, practice it from your end, okay. So this was one of the example or sample of the problems, how do you uh, clarify it based on the calculations what we have done till today, okay. So I'll take a five minutes of break and get back to you people and I will also give one more kind of a, a problem so or the situation so that you have to try to solve it. Okay, so let us get back at 741.
Thank you all for being online. Can anyone confirm me that you are uh, able to hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you for the response. Sir. Yeah. So I'll share it one more uh, problem. So and I'll try to explain it on it. So you can check it out in your uh, WhatsApp group. I have been shared one more case study. So which is called as a Toyota case study. So when we are going to buy a franchise, you often uh, automobile showrooms business. So what all the things that will be involved in that so that you can be able to just go through with it. The similar kind of uh, the case study it is i'll just share it on the screen so you can just go over through on it yeah so this is the model which have been created so you can see here so generally you don't find it to be uh, predefined or templated one but we have made it in a simpler way you have to do it with the value calculations but only the thing is you have to understand with okay so it is very simpler way we have been added this so you can read out with the case study and the values also are given over here only the thing is you should be able to know that where to add this values and how to calculate it it is in a simpler way okay so add it so do the calculation of the sales what happens and bring that value over here in the income statement and then you are going to prepare the cash flow statement it was the same way how simply we have been created and uh, calculated in the previous problem so bring it till here okay so let me know the irr the internal rate of returns so what you are going to get it okay so this will be your assignment for the week so that I want you people to try with this and bring up with the answer. Okay. So which is there available on your WhatsApp. So please try. So anyway, your people are getting with the recordings also. You can go through once again with the recordings. So try with and we can be able to solve it. Okay. So by this, we are going to end up for this week. So we'll meet up in the next class on Monday onwards. Okay. Thank you all. Have a wonderful weekend.
थैंक यू सर थैंक यू मैम